Hello guys, welcome back to your Football Manager channel. How are you doing? Um, so I've just been working on the non-league to legend save we've got with um, a few little tweaks and changes with Altrincham. Um, <clears throat> firstly, uh, I've put a few players back into the reserve side uh, from the first team. Players like George Wilson. I know he's improved a little bit, but he's not good enough really. Anis Mameti, uh, again, needs to do a little bit more. Um, Alfie Clark, the young left back I've got hopes for. Um, probably needs a bit of game time. James Unwin, centre half. And Pofo has also gone back there. Um, so that has shortened the um, senior squad a little bit, which should help, you know, because. We need to make sure that their training is good enough. And with the squad being the size it was, I don't think everyone was getting the attention they needed. Um, however, let's see. We do need to pick a side now. To play Southport at home. Um, now, God... Should we do it off value? I mean, we got a new young central defender on loan for Man City, Taylor Harwood Bellis, from the under 18 side. So he can start. Luca Navarro, a young free transfer we signed, I think was released by Bolton, he can play. Mazia Kuya, I think he's back from international duty with Af Afghanistan, I think. So we'll put him on the right. Uh, ben Kami from Tunisia. Uh, we'll put him in midfield. Juanito Lopez, the young Spaniard that we've got. Darrell still injured. Muscat, he's a left back. Kieran Jones as centre back. Scott Pollock is a really good midfielder for us actually at the moment. Um, Josh Heaton. Hmm, hang on, I'm not putting him in goal, but I remember him playing well at centre-back, but it's not the room for him there, so Matt Hancock, not the room for him either, Josh Hancock, not Matt Hancock, friggin' hell, NHS guy, Corona guy, let's, in, in fact, you know what, because he disrespected my man, he disrespected Marcus Rashford, let's, Let's not have him as Josh Hancock. Let's have him as Daniel Hancock. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Only if you follow the series and the news will you get that. Um, uh, uh played left wing. We need a right back. Oh God, who's fit? Andy Jackson. Andy Jackson can play right back. Okay. Um, it might turn out to be a winning side. You never know. Um, Striker-wise, we don't really have anyone there. Do we to bring off the bench? Maybe Ellison. Um, goalkeeper, anyone? Should we even have a goalkeeper on the bench? Hmm. I mean, don't really need one. I'll say. Rennie Steer, left back. Matt Harrop. Let's put Matt Harrop on the bench. So I'm not going to play with a keeper, I don't think. Uh, on the bench. We're, we're going to play, definitely going to play with a keeper on the pitch. Um, they all look as though they're in the right position, actually. They all look as though they're in their favoured position. So I think we're just going to go with that and play with them. Looks good to me. Um, so we're going to go 442. It's recommended to me by Moses, who is Football Manager Maniac. And if you haven't checked his channel out, check Football Manager Maniac out, please. Um, or FM Maniac. He is a lovely, lovely lad from London. Um, a youth football coach as well. And puts back into the community. Really top lad. And. Uh, you might see him commenting on a few of the videos here. I'm 
I'm always watching videos on my uh, Amazon stick and it doesn't allow you to comment on them so I, I keep I keep forgetting to go back onto the computer and go onto his channel and then comment on the videos and I should do um, I'm gonna have to make time to do that actually I do watch them I just watch them on the TV you know it's better watching on a 42 inch TV than it is uh, you know a, a little screen you know anywho here we go 442 it's the formation Moses recommended so I'm gonna stick with it somehow God knows how we're eighth in the league we've played 12 won five drawn three lost four well if you include this as a draw um, and we have plus eight goal difference I think it's because we're very attacking um, as long and short of it oh dear snap him <laughs> it's non-league Get into him. Here's Wood for Southport. And Morgan linking up. That's good. Good pressing. I like it. Oh, you just left a man here all alone. That striker. What the hell? Oh, dude at the back post. Oh. You know he was going to go snap him then. Woods wins are throwing for Southport. Uh, our condition looks better than theirs from the get go. Um, so that's a good thing. Good ahead about Jackson or Kuya. I love names like Kuya. And Juanito Lopez. Oh, Luca Navarro. Oh, you gotta have a bit of pizzazz on your team, and that's the reason why. Luca Navarro just smashed one. Oh man. Juanito Lopez heads it onto his partner, Luca Navarro, and boom. What a finish. Blimey, 25 yard out. Absolutely unstoppable from Luca Navarro. And oh, Morgan's on the edge. Time. Oh, he had too much time there. Oh, God. Oh, that's horrible. Look how much time he had here. No one went to press him. The opposition instructions, there is none. Right, let's... I'll tell you what, let's press them in central midfield. Let's press them in full-back position. And let's press their strikers as well. Um, is that Dan Hanford? He used to play for Rochdale, Dan Hanford. Let's have a little look. There you go, 28. 100% he played for Rochdale, he was for our youth team. There you go. Dan Hanford. Wow. Good lad, I remember you from League 2. Nice lad as well. Um, okay, he's with Southport now. Okay. Um, six foot two, left footed, 28 year old. It's good as an all round keeper, isn't he, there for the, the league? Luca Navarro. Oh, back of the net. Diogo puts it in anyway. That Did that hit the back of the net? Anyhow, did it go in? Was that Navarro's goal? Let's look. No, bounced off the line. Diogo put it in though, he put the rebound in. Oh, trick of the eyes. Dan Hanford, wow. Is that Dean Winnard, former Akins and Stanley player? Yeah, there you go. Southport have got some players, man. Like, oh, Jordan Hume scored again for York. We sold him to them. Oh, here's Correa. Being held up. Ah. Oh. Whips it round our centre half, but it's wide. Harwood Bellis, 72% condition. So he took a kick and I don't know about it. Hmm. So... 
trying to think who I might know here. There's Richard Pennicat, George Waring. Um, Jordan Hume. No, it's not that many. Encourage the players, give them a bit of a morale boost. Okay. I was impressed with you. Muscat is lost focus. Okay. Um. So Scotty Pollock and Joe Muscat did not approve of that team talk. Well, four four two is working so far. I think my problem. Oh god! Even though there's quite a few players not playing well, my problem really is. That I went and signed good players without having any kind of thought as to the system I was going to play. Oh, Janice and Myrie Williams has come on. He's a former league player. And a good one at that. God damn. Southport spending money. Um. Oh, Correa again. He's offside though. Raul Correa. It's got a kind of name that would attract me to sign him though as well. Look at that. Real Correa. 450 quid a week. Portuguese. Good strength. Work rate. He's 80% scouted. Russell Benjamin used to play for Rochdale. Central midfield player. He's a good young talent as well and he got released. I think he went to... Stockport and then ended up in the Nick. Um, yeah. There's Ben Kami. Oh, shooting wide, and I can't remember why he ended up in jail. Let's have a little look at Russell Benjamin. He definitely had a spell out. He was definitely at Rochdale youth team. There you go, Southport, and then Rochdale for a couple of years in our youth team. And he went back to Southport. And then from, he was at Stockport, and from there he, he got sent to jail for some reason. And then the Warrington manager picked him up as he left uh, prison. And when the Warrington guy got the Southport job, he took Russell Benjamin to Southport. Uh, Google that, it's a true story. See, even in the recess of my mind, there it is, I'm still picking out little... Little things of uh, absolute no value whatsoever. Uh, <laughs> Zen Raymond, he used to play for Accrington. I think maybe, oh, I want to say, was it Zesh Raymond who played for Bradford? I don't know. Oh, I've gone an entire game without making a substitute. 2-1. And that'll do us no harm whatsoever. Uh, let's be very positive. Well done, lads. Good win for us. Coriade looks switched off. Um, how do I... Mm, I'm pleased with how you did today. Still looks switched off. Some people you cannot, you know, just cannot help. So that puts us... Holy crap, we're in fourth. All right, so play 12, won six, drawn two, lost four, plus nine goal difference, 20 points. I mean, we could easily drop down to 12 where Spennymore is on 17 points. We'd probably drop to 11 freely. Or we could go up to second. Um, depending on the next result. Uh, it, it's Telford as well, I think, for playing on the 14th. Um, it's quite tight at the top. I'm not going to read too much into that at the moment. But how we just moved into fourth, I will never know. Um, Taylor Harwood Bellis has also been labelled the next Tony Adams. Okay. Um, I didn't know he was that good. Let's praise Navarro. 
There you go, exceptional. Let's have a little look at Taylor Harwood Bellis. Um, young centre back. Um, heading, marking, uh, 13, tackling, 14. Strength, 14. Determination, 17. 6 foot 2. Um, 13 pace, 12 acceleration. 4.5 star current ability, 4.5 star potential ability. Um, 17 year old, 7 pros, two, uh, 4 cons. And that's his first ever game. So that's not bad. Now I do have to say we've made a sale. Uh, Dan Mooney has gone to Halifax. Um, so let's have a little look at him. Uh, young Welsh winger. Uh, he's on a thousand pound a week though. We had to get him off our books basically. Um, so he's gone for forty thousand. Um, yeah, I cannot keep him. Long and short of it, it it's just too much money, and uh, well, he wants to go. So <laughs> uh, he played the first game for them, and uh, yeah. Uh, do you have any thoughts on Altrincham choosing to operate with a director of football? He said he wouldn't be comfortable working in such a setup. Cheeky sod. Just sell him a player when he does that. So George Wilson, who dropped from our senior side into the under-23s, just got player of the match. Uh, Long Stanton to Trafford. Uh, where's Stanton? Stanton, Ethan Stanton, central midfielder. Okay, it says Long Stanton to Trafford, so we'll do that. Give him a bit of game time. It doesn't look as though he's been doing that much, to be honest. Dante Gabidon, young lad, coming through. Uh, scout report for Telford. Get a scout report when I play them. Well, I was having a little look for players who we may be able to loan, and obviously, Shepard Moore and Betsy has one of the coolest names, um, but it's not enough for me to sign him. Uh, he's a left footed right wing back, which you don't see often, uh, but he can also play midfield. So I was kind of, kind of tempted. Um, it's considered a fringe player. And he's listed. Transfer listed for 6,000. We have zero. And I need to bring 2,300 quid off the wage bill. Um, and the other one I found was Harry Woodward. Now, for those of you who watched my Celtic save. You'll know there's a player called Karamoko Dembele. And Karamoko, bless him. I'm sure he's a lovely lad. I'm sure he smiles all day, all night long because he's a professional footballer. But his football manager picture, he looks like a slapped ass. Oh my god. But if you think Karamoka Dumbele's got a sulky face on him, look at the bottom lip on this guy here. Harry Woodward, mate. You sulky so and so. Cheer up, man. You play football for a living. I mean, you're only getting 120 quid a week, but. It's better than the doll, and it's much better than the doll. And mate, you're playing football, so yeah. Award for slapped ass face of the uh, week goes to Harry Woodward. Um, oh, maybe his dad's Ed Woodward. Maybe that's why he's got a face like a slapped ass. Um, yeah, Karen Walker Dembele he needs a smile on his next football manager picture. He really does. He, he looks he looks moody. He looks like a grumpy old woman. <laughs> it looks it looks like that bird in the club you turned around and went, nah, you're right, love. Thanks very much. <laughs> ah. Right, Gary Wob Roberts. Right, I'm I'm gonna do something a bit funky here. They want about four grand, right? Now I can't offer zero. But in instalments, could I offer 
Um, you might be able to hear my dog Jess snoring, by the way. Could I offer 825 quid in instalments? I possibly could do. Ah, uh, still want 2.3. Okay, I can't do that. Um, how about... Um, see let's try seven grand in installments nope they literally want half the money they're gonna come back to me and go five and five now no five point two five and four point seven ah I can't do it I cannot do it um I'll offer you a grand a month to take him on loan. Um, and I'll pay 60% of his wages. Make the offer. If we can get Gary Roberts in, it's that central midfield. Technique 13, tackling 14, penalty taking, passing, long shots 12, first touch 11. And then free kick taking, crossing corners, all 10. He's got enough there, technically, to actually help us out a little bit in midfield. Um, that could be something we need. Um, right, the players look a bit knackered here. Um, Taylor Harwood, Harwood Bellis is only a young kid, so I think his condition's really down. Um... So we'll have to drop him. Uh, Kuya 91, Kameen. Oh god. Ooh. Right. Um. I'll tell you what. Let Let's pick the. What have I done? Best sixteen. Oh, I think I might have sold Mooney. Mooney might have been number five. Best 16. I'm not sure that was it. Maybe. Mm. Best 16. I'm not sure that is, but... Oh. I mean we could go with it I don't know Ooh. Let's have a look at the fitness of Telford uh, They're in pretty good condition And we're not Um Right, I think it's going to come down to a bit of a war on nutrition this game um, against Telford. Oi, Jess, wakey wakey. My dog is snoring so loud I can't hear myself think. Right, let's play Craig Ellison up front. Jaden Alley can go in midfield. Okay, he's a good passer, alright. Durrell, he's been playing reserve games to come back from injury. And you got Heaton and Garrido. Okay. So let's play them to the centre half. Rennie Steer is fit enough to play left back. Tyler Brownsword, I think. Let's play him at right back. Jake Malt in midfield. Um... Good Daniel Hancock <laughs> playing that number 10 role. Max Harrop, keep playing on the left. As a winger, maybe. Mm. Good Alex Hurst by his left winger. 
So what, we'll play Hurst as left wing. We'll have Harrop on the bench with Curtis Peters on the bench. Gunning can go on the bench and Rhys Brown can go on the bench. That is my fittest team I can put out, I think, at the moment. Tactics wise. Um Darrell wants to play on the wing. Hurst also wants to play on the wing. Malt box to box midfielder supports. Hancock is gonna play number ten role. Um Why are you going to play midfield, mate? No, we'll have him in that number 10 role, actually. Brown Sword, I think we'll have as no nonsense fullback who defends. There you go, 4 2 3 1. It's kind of a kind of version of 4 4 2, isn't it? So it's not too dissimilar to what we've been playing. Oh bloody hell, they've got names here. Ellis Deeney. Is that Troy Deeney's brother? What is he related to him? Information. Defensive midfielder, Ellis John Daly, Solly Hull. Troy Deeney, that's his brother. There you go. So Ellis Dean Ellis Deeney is a good player as well, actually. He plays with Telford. Okay. So he looks like he's going to be decent. Um, Brendan Daniels. I'm sure he was a striker. And was at Port Vale. He was. He went to Port Vale for money. Didn't play that well, but I'm pretty sure he banged in some goals. Um, he started off at Crewe. Okay, he's, he's actually a player in this game. I wouldn't mind. Brendan Daniels. Um, quite good. Sean Williams, we sold them. Marcus Denanga. Seven goals in seven starts. And he looks good. Estimated cost. We can't afford him. Oh. Salford, eh? Aaron Williams, 7 in 12. If we get promoted or anywhere near that, or we anywhere near even getting money, I think we're going to come back and get Denanga and Daniels and maybe Deeney as well. The three Ds, Daniels, Deeney and Denanga. Yeah. Right, let's crack on with the game. Um, just to show you all, it's it's real. <laughs> we are playing properly. Is is real? Let's see. I need to go extremely wide here um, because um, they're going to be playing narrow. They're going to be playing a four four two diamond formation. Matthew Barnes Homer used to play for Rochdale as well as Macclesfield. Okay. Sheridan Martinez. Alright. Here's Brown Sword, our right back. Well, centre half, not playing right back. Rennie Steer. Oh, get in. First goal of the season for Rennie Steer is on loan. I forgot who we loaned him from. <laughs> it's been a week. It's been a week since I played. But he's come in at left back. Oh, he's drilled one. Go on, son. Who did we actually sign him from? Uh, was it Maidenhead? Yeah, uh, it was Maidenhead. And he's on loan. There you go. It was surplus to uh, requirements at uh, Maidenhead. Not at Altrincham though. Ali again. Good header. Finds Ellison. Ooh. Alex Hurst on the left wing. 
crosses one. Oh, Ellison try getting his head on there. Darrell beats uh, Daniels to it. And the ball comes out here. Denanga gives it to Williams. Oh, boy. I think Garrido's dealing with two players here. Scott brings a save from Ade. I think uh, Garrido was a little bit worried about Denanga and followed Denanga. Hmm. Get creative, boys. Come on. Ali's a good passer. Heaton's not. Uh, it's Williams. Hurst intercepts. Takes a couple of men on. Plays it out to Renny Steer. He was going to cross. Oh, Elliot Durrell. First goal of the season. And it might be his first start, actually. I think he's uh, been injured since pre-season. Um, so, yeah, good to get him back. I think he's been injured for like three or four months. Um, he's literally missed the entire season. So far. Um, but he's back. He's back. So that's good. First league game for him. Alex Hurst taking on his man. Oh, loses out to Birch. 2 0 is a good result here. Denanga. He's got Steer with him. Ali heads that out. Durrell calmly to Garrido. Pumps it forward for Ellison. That's a great take, by the way. He's tackled by Sutton, but Durrell picks it up again. He's tackled by Carolins, and Tyler Brownsword picks it up. We're on the attack here. The boys are not giving him Jake Moult. Oh my word, he hit a schoolsy volley. And I'm telling you now, that was not that far away. Jake Moult. Wow, smash bomb. It's his first game back for a while. Daniel Hancock. <laughs> oh dear. Alan Birch. Who's Alan Birch? The right back. Right wing back, okay. Let's praise the boys. Fire up. Brennan Daniels picks up Yella. See, at this level, I genuinely think the condition of players makes a difference. Definitely makes a difference because we're going into the second half now. Oh god, we got three defenders on Yella cards. And we are looking a little bit better than them with regards to condition. And that is going to show. Ellis De Dini goes off. Jonathan Royal comes on. Strong defensive midfield, it says. Yeah. Of Pudara. After a bad ruby for Mali Babas. Uh, right, I'll tell you what. Um, they just said to Tyler Brown so to ease off the tackle. So let's bring Reese Brown on for him. Let's bring Gavin Gunning on for Jose Garrido. Let's play at centre back. And. Alex Hurst on the left wing has not done great, so let's bring Max Harrop on and uh, see how, how he can do on the left wing. I mean, Jake Mult has not performed brilliantly, but Peters has only got like 55% match sharpness, so not sure about bringing him on in this kind of game. Or we're trying to hold on. Just demand a little bit more from them. Maltz pressured. Maltz just having a bad game today. 6.3. But the players have done really well. 2-0. Against Telford. That's a good result that you know. So we had 21 shots. They had 10. We had 58% possession. So... Yeah, play very well indeed boys, well done. So that puts us fourth in the league. Um, 
Won seven, drawn two, lost four. Plus 11 goal difference, 23 points on the board. We're two points off second, which is York. And we are three points clear of um, Farsley in seventh and Gateshead in ninth. Uh, so there's, there's a little group forming now. 13 games into it. Brackley and Boston look in trouble. Um, just wondering in January if there's any players that oh, contract our uh, contract Martin Wolford. <sighs> I mean it's okay. Who's this guy? Alex Whittle. He's out of contract. Mm. Ashley Jackson. Jay Rollins. They're all uh I think Alex Penny, a right back, out of contract, and he looks good. God damn it, I know I have to bring the uh, wage bill down. Let's have a look at Alex Penny. <sighs> Physicals are really good, he's 6 foot 1. Um, okay, mentals, first touch 10, tackling 10, marking and heading 11. Uh, he's 22 year old. I mean, what are we looking at here? Um, let's see. Oh, use that existing contract. Hang on, 850. Okay, hang on. Wow. I can't, I can't do anything there. Wage budget. Mm. Yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll just scout him because I don't think there's very much I can do there. Um, or maybe even should do. Oh, fans heal tactical genius Pepe. Do you see that? There you go. Moses, you're a tactical genius. All I've done is follow you, mate. Um, so, and again, yeah, if you can go follow Football Manager Maniac, uh, go follow Moses, particularly his Bolton save, which I've been watching. Um, I've been trying to keep up with his journeyman and the other stuff, but I've been so busy. Um, but I do like to watch Moses, and I do, uh, you know, I, I do genuinely watch him. You know, you see a lot of these Football Manager creators, and they all pretend they watch each other, but I actually do watch him. Uh, and I watched Demand More FM as well. He's doing an Aberdeen save. Um, I watched Cobby, his, his West Country accent, South West Country accent. Um, who else do I watch? Um, Custer Prophet, particularly with the uh, the murder mystery he's got going on. Um, Polaris, I think it's called. Uh, there's quite a few that I watch. Um, but I like to just chill out at the end of the day, sit down in front of the TV, put YouTube on and watch them on YouTube um, rather than, you know, sitting in front of a computer. Um, so, yeah, I do watch them. I do drop a like on the video. It does help them. So if you can try to drop a like on the videos. Um, yeah. And just, you know, check a few of them out. Um, they're really good. And it's always good to mix it up a little bit. But. Thank you very much for watching me and thank you very much for dropping a like on the video and subscribing. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with more non-league uh, legend with Altrincham and honestly I think we're doing we're doing little bits here. We've got an FA Cup game next against Beaconsfield which I think is near Luton. I'm not sure. We should be able to beat them. Yeah, um, so come back for that Beaconsfield game 
And straight after that, we're playing Bradford Park Avenue, who should have a good team. Um, oh, hang on. Joe Green. Oh, yeah, let's, let's have a little look at the... Before we go. Before we go. Six foot five keeper. Billy Priestley? No. Stelios Dimitriou. Oh, I like the name. Um, it'd be a good left winger rather than left back. Um, Ollie Johnson was a former Stockport striker. I remember him. Um, in fact, Ollie Johnson. There you go, Stockport, two thousand eight, two thousand nine. My memory is on fleek. Jeez, Louise, and he went to Norwich from Stockport. So banged a few in for Norwich. Ended up at Yeovil on loan. Oxford on a free. His career kind of derailed at Norwich. He should have maybe stayed at Stockport for another year. Um, don't know. Who are we to say? You know, I hope he's done well for himself. Um, Ollie Johnson, do remember you. Um, Ryan Hall, former Luton player, I think. See? Oh, no. It's, no I think the other Ryan Hall is a different colour entirely. Um... <laughs> I think, yeah. Brighouse, nah. Nah, it's not that Ryan Hall. There is another Ryan Hall. Um, who we could search for. Yeah, it's two. Nope, that's a goalkeeper. Let's try him. Nope. Let's try this guy. He's at Cheltenham now. He's a winger. Was he at Luton? He was at Luton. There you go. Um, Crystal Palace leads. Yeah, so that's the Ryan Hall I was thinking of. Um, decent player. We don't need a left winger though, unfortunately. So let's see. Nicky Clee, who I think was former Bradford player. Uh, Bradford City that is Adam Novakovsky uh, Stephen Dickinson Tom Clare Lewis Knight Ryan Tolson Tom Nicholson see the players that are out of contract I wouldn't really be that interested in to be honest I mean, Ollie, Ollie Johnson's got a bit of pedigree. I don't know. I wouldn't have him as a right winger. I'd have him as a striker. Um, is he after silly money? Yeah. I can only pay you 350 mate. No. So he's getting paid nothing. And he's turned down 350 Bro. Yeah, so we play Bradford Park Avenue next. Um, they'll be playing a 4 4 1 1 formation by the looks of it. And uh, But they'll be playing with a couple of wingers who are quite attacking. So make sure you come back for that one. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, and again, make sure you hit the subscribe button and like and share and all that random good stuff. And I'm on Patreon and twitter and all that other stuff i keep forgetting to tell you about one of these days i'm gonna get a little script and i'm gonna feel horrible uh, <laughs> so thanks very much for watching that's the best thing you can do just keep watching and i will see you all very soon take care of yourself now see you tomorrow bye